Hey guys, Eric here, and welcome to another day of my 90 day fit for life challenge. We are on day 32 for today, and I can say that yesterday I spent a lot and a lot of time doing some exercising, like a crazy amount. But I'll be getting into that in just a little bit. First off, I want to be addressing questions, which I haven't been getting any questions for the past little while. So I strongly encourage you guys to go and leave a comment down in the comment section below about any questions that you have or if you want to be discussing more on a particular topic that's on your mind, whatever, leave a comment down in the comment section below on that. But anyway, as far as my day goes yesterday, I've been spending a lot of time exercising. And basically yesterday I spent all afternoon lifting and moving around boxes because actually my brother is moving back into... Uh, this this house, my pa my parents' place, and basically he ha he and his girlfriend had a whole bunch of stuff that's been sitting in, uh, basically like where I'm working right now. Where my mom and I spend all afternoon, literally moving all of those boxes and moving them all the way back into uh, another area in the basement. So uh, they're more out of the way. Uh, the, my work area is a lot nicer now that I'm not surrounded by boxes and all that stuff so that's really nice but it was really exhausting so much that that's basically my challenge uh that i that i have was that i've been spending so much time doing that that i really didn't do anything else outside of outside of that I, even though i did do some exercising i did do my strength building that is something that i want to be working on as well and I'll be talking a little bit more about some other experimenting uh, stuff because I have been doing some research on that t today and I did a little bit yesterday as well. But I'll be talking about that in tomorrow's video. But as far as those boxes go, those are also an accomplishment that I had for my day yesterday. Because I remember packing those boxes and doing all, all of that stuff and just moving everything around. And I remember I had a lot had a lot of trouble with that. I really lacked a lot of upper body strength compared to uh, now. Because when we had that project of actually boxing everything and moving everything into into that uh, section of the basement, uh, that was about five years ago. And since and since then, obviously, I've gone through uh, doing some training and exercising and strength building and all all that stuff. So it was a lot easier for me to be doing that sort of stuff. And it really puts things into perspective about working out in general for me because obviously I, I knew that I lacked upper body strength and and, and all of that and all of that, but really putting in that kind of effort that I'm putting in now as well as what I put in in the past when I had my paleo diet and all of that, it's it puts things into perspective that hey that that sort of stuff does pay off pay off in the long run that you can do those sorts of things and that you actually notice those kinds of things and it, it kind of feels it, it kind of makes you feel really good that you're like hey at least when I fail when I when my exercising fails it's not a complete failure because I still retain some level of strength that I had and committing back to uh, building up your strength and getting into the body that you really want to be in can really help it can can put those kinds of things into perspective a lot more, especially in my my line of work where literally I sit at a desk. So it's really nice to put things into perspective that, hey, like what I'm doing is actually really good and that it's not all going for nothing or, or anything like that. So that's what I'm, so that's the accomplishment that I want to be sharing with you guys. The recipe that I want to be sharing with you guys for today as well is basically similar to banana chips that I talked about earlier. I, well, I talked about chips and I said that you can make banana chips, but these ones are actually just fried bananas. And the recipe is down in the description below and it looks really tasty, it looks really delicious, and it's very simple to make. It has a handful of ingredients. Definitely go and try it out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and joining me along on this journey and for hanging out with me as well. My name is Eric, and I will see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome!